Hello everyone, I'm Dhriti and welcome to Digit, your one-stop shop for all things tech. Active noise cancellation without breaking the bank seemed to be the theme going around in the TWS market in 2021 and that has spilled over into 2022 as well. And boy are we glad. We absolutely love that budget audio manufacturers are taking on the mantle of democratizing premium features such as ANC for the masses. Diesel, a brand under the Realme TechLife ecosystem, has already seen some success in the budget ANC TWS area with the Diesel Go Pods. However, those earphones were essentially rebranded Realme Buds Air 2 earphones. We remember wishing for some originality from Diesel in the future in the ANC space. And now we've got that with the newly launched Diesel Bud Z Pro. Priced at Rs. 2999, the Diesel Bud Z Pro is the upgraded version of the Diesel Bud Z that launched in September 2021. The Pro variant comes with improved battery life, ANC support, Bluetooth version 5.2 and a slightly modified design. These buds compete against other budget active noise cancelling TWS earphones such as the Realme Buds Air 2 and the Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro. Let's see if Diesel a company still in its infancy can make a big enough splash in this segment. The Diesel Bud Z Pro are equipped with 10mm dynamic drivers with a frequency range of 20Hz to 20kHz, the same as their non-pro equivalent. The buds support only the SBC codec, which is extremely disappointing since most earbuds in this price range support SBC and AAC codecs. However, the company has definitely retuned these earbuds. They offer a more balanced and smooth sound signature as compared to the Dezobud Z. The bass is still boosted, but the mids and highs aren't as overemphasized, so the resulting sound is more pleasant to listen to. The bass response is slightly bloated and it negatively impacts the clarity and detail in the mids. However, the mid-range from 500Hz to 2kHz is very well produced. So when it isn't marred by the boosted bass, the mids sound intricate and detailed. Vocals are crystal clear and lead instruments sound pristine, which is excellent for sub-2K TWS earphones. Now, the highs from 2kHz to 4kHz are slightly boosted, so there is some sibilance present, but nowhere near as much as was present on the Buds Z. The Diesel Buds Z Pro are priced in the same range as the Realme Buds Air 2 and the Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro, while they definitely sound miles better than the Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro with its absolutely chaotic bass representation. The Realme Buds Air 2 are definitely better tuned and more balanced sounding. None of these earphones are suitable for audiophiles and purists of course. They are more geared towards users who prefer a bass forward pair of earphones that work well with genres such as pop, rap, EDM and Bollywood. Moving on to the imaging of these earphones, it is pretty good for the sub 2k price point. You can tell the general direction a sound is coming from but it isn't extremely precise. The soundstage is pretty narrow and the sound feels like it's staying in and around your head instead of expanding wider. Overall, these are decent, warm sounding earphones with punchy bass that does sound bloated at times. Moving on to the microphone performance, the Diesel Bud Z Pro employs dual microphones with environmental noise cancellation. The microphone performs very well indoors with crisp sounding voices being relayed. However, when you're outdoors with a lot of ambient noise, the microphone does pick up too much surrounding chatter. So your voice can sound distorted and muffled. So we suggest using the microphone primarily when you're indoors. Here's a microphone sample. We're using the Diesel Bud Z Pro's microphone to record this. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. As for wireless connectivity, the earphones come with Bluetooth version 5.2, which is a step up over the Diesel Bud Z's Bluetooth 5.0. There were no stutters or lag when listening to music and the connection process is simple and fast. Once you have paired the earphones to your source device, reconnecting to that device is almost instantaneous. Another perk is game mode that lowers the latency to 88 milliseconds. 
we watched TV shows and played games using these earphones and noticed very minimal latency. Being the upgraded version of the Deezo Bud Z, the Pro variant incorporates active noise cancellation which was absent in the older variant. The company claims up to 25 decibels of ambient noise suppression via this feature. In our tests, the active noise cancellation performance was pretty decent. It subdues low, constant sounds such as an AC's hum, an airplane's drone, and a PC's whirring sound. It won't, however, diminish higher frequency sounds such as human voices and high-speed fans. For the price though, it is pretty decent. The earbuds also come with a transparent mode that amplifies environmental sounds so you can stay aware of your surroundings. The transparent mode on these earbuds isn't very effective though. Ambient sounds are still pretty dull. This is mainly due to the earphone's secure and snug fit. A stellar feature on the Deezo Bud Z Pro is Realme Link app support. The app is extremely versatile. It provides EQ presets to choose from, noise cancellation modes, customizable controls, quick toggles for volume enhancer mode and game mode, and battery status for the earbuds. You can choose between three EQ presets, bright, dynamic, and bass boost. We found the dynamic preset to be the most balanced. The earbuds come with touch controls, but they were really unreliable and finicky in our testing. We faced many misreadings as well as the controls not registering at all. We do hope Deezo can fix this through a software update. The touch controls allow you to control music playback and calls. However, there are no volume controls, which is disappointing. Lastly, the earbuds are rated IPX4 sweat and water resistant, which make them suitable to be used when exercising. Overall, we've got a feature-laden pair of earphones with the Deezo Bud Z Pro, albeit there are some hiccups and misses here and there. The Deezo Bud Z that launched in 2021 disappointed us with its paltry 16 hours of playtime. However, the Deezo Bud Z Pro has rectified that. These buds come with a total battery life of 25 hours. So you get seven hours of wireless playback on a single charge from the earbuds. It's a huge improvement from its predecessor and we applaud the company for managing to do that while only increasing the weight of the earbuds by 0.2 grams. In our tests with ANC turned on and the volume set to 60%, we got about 5.5 hours of playback from the earphones and about three extra charges from the charging case. If you keep ANC off, your mileage will definitely improve. The original Deezo Bud Z had an eye-catching design with a matte case and attractive color options. This time around, the Deezo Bud Z Pro's charging case and earbuds have a glossy texture, which is a step back in our opinion. The glossy textured case attracts a lot of fingerprints. Additionally, it doesn't look quite as premium as the matte texture on the Bud Z. The Bud Z Pro is available in two colors, orange black and ocean blue. We got the latter for review. The outside of the case is a dark blue color while the inside is a lighter blue shade. In our opinion, the orange black version actually looks classier. The charging case of the Deezo Bud Z Pro is very compact and easily slips into small bags and pockets without bulging out too much. The front houses the Deezo logo along with an LED indicator light. On the bottom, you have the USB Type-C port for charging. The case flips open easily and even opens one-handed without any issues. It shuts with an audible, satisfying snap, which we love. Additionally, the magnets that hold the earbuds inside the case are extremely strong. The buds don't budge from inside the case even when you shake the case with a lot of force. The earbuds have a stem design and they are pretty lightweight. The stems have a shiny effect that will definitely stand out in a crowd. The earbud stem also have a touch sensitive zone for music and call controls. We mentioned before that the controls aren't very reliable, so keep that in mind. Since the earbuds weigh only 3.9 grams each, they're supremely comfortable to wear even over long periods of time. The angled earbud nozzles ensure that most users will get a snug and tight fit. 
Dizo has provided a total of three pairs of differently sized silicone ear tips. The earbuds stay on tight during most activities such as walking, running, and even exercising. Overall, the buds are supremely comfortable, have a very snug fit, but the glossy finish does make them look slightly gaudy in our opinion. Priced at Rs. 2999, the Dizo Bud Z Pro democratizes ANC for the masses. They compete with a few other earbuds that have done the same, such as the Realme Buds Air 2, Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro, and the Noise Airbuds. The Dizo Bud Z Pro stands somewhere in the middle of the pack when it comes to performance. With their bloated bass response, they don't perform nearly as well as the Realme Buds Air 2 that only cost a few hundred rupees more. But they do match up to most other competitors. With app support, IPX4 water resistance, USB Type-C charging and active noise cancellation, the Dizo Bud Z Pro provides more than enough bang for your buck. And with that said, we've come to the end of this review. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.